Welcome back everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss about the altitudes at which an aeroplane and a helicopter could fly. Let's get into it. Before getting into the altitudes in which, an aeroplane or helicopter flies, we need to know the layers of Earth's atmosphere. They are. Troposphere from 0 to 11 kilometers. Stratosphere, 11 to 50 kilometers. Mesosphere, 50 to 80 kilometers. And thermosphere from 80 to 700 kilometers. Aeroplanes generally fly at an altitude of over 35,000 feet. Which means they fly in lower stratosphere. But why? Why not below stratosphere or above? Let's know about it. In the lower altitudes, below the stratosphere, the air resistance will be more. So, if an aeroplane flies at this altitude, the fuel required will be more. Which is not reliable. In case of higher altitudes, the molecules available in the air are less. This results in low pressure. As the pressure decreases, the temperature also decreases. In other words, temperature of gas is directly proportional to average kinetic energy of its molecules. As the molecules available in air at higher altitudes decreases, the temperature will also decrease. So when an aeroplane flies at higher altitudes, the temperature is in the order of negative degrees, and availability of oxygen is less. So the combustion of fuel doesn't happen well and can't power the engine. Hence, this is also not reliable for cruising of flight. Now, let's take a look at why they fly in lower stratosphere. One of the main reasons is to maintain fuel efficiency. The thin air present at this altitude reduces the drag on the aircraft. This reduces the requirement of fuel to maintain the speed. So, aeroplanes fly at this altitude. This altitude is also known as cruising altitude. Business jets can fly at 50,000 feet because of their small size and large engines. Let's have a look at flights flown higher than a normal plane could. Concorde flew at 60,000 feet because it is a supersonic passenger airline. SR-71, highest air-breathing military aircraft flies at 90,000 feet. So, till now we have discussed about aeroplane. Now let's look into helicopter altitude. The helicopter blades are also shaped in aerofoil structure to produce lift. This lift is directly proportional to density of air at that altitude. As discussed before, when we go higher in atmosphere, the molecules present in air decreases, which means the density also decreases with altitude due to which helicopters cannot fly much higher. A turbine engine helicopter can fly up to 25,000 feet. The maximum height at which helicopters can rover is around 10,000 feet. So, in this video we have seen the altitudes at which aeroplanes and helicopters fly. I hope you have learned something new from this video. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe Aviation Alphabet for more videos related to aviation.